Dr. Jackie, one of our questions or one of our customers writes in with a question and would like to know in certain conditions, Lyme disease, mold exposure, something along those lines, can L ascorbate be a pro-oxidant if the patient has a glutathione deficiency? Um, it's curious that that is coming up now. It is a misunderstanding that I would like to clarify. First of all, the best way to raise glutathione levels, because glutathione is always made or synthesized inside the cell. The best way to enhance glutathione synthesis, to enhance glutathione recycling, to enhance and protect glutathione from oxidative damage, is to have enough ascorbate. Now, if you say we're going to allow the person to have some vitamin C ascorbate and it's going to be the L ascorbate, fully reduced, fully buffered, fully mineralized, but we're not going to include the sulfur sources in the diet, the garlic, the ginger, the onions, the brassica sprouts, and eggs from which the body can make glutathione in abundance. So, you're talking about a very hypothetical situation where someone gets enough antioxidant ascorbate but lacks the sulfur amino acids, the cysteine sulfur amino acid, that is part of the three amino acids that make up glutathione. We urge people to complement their ascorbate intake with GGOBE, garlic, ginger, onions, brassica, sprouts, and eggs so that you can make as much glutathione as you need. And I'm glad to report that ascorbate is a very unique molecule in biology. And while it does have transition energetic states, they are long relaxation, not free radical generating. So ascorbate is never a harmful pro-oxidant. Ascorbate, the L-ascorbate that we have used for many years, is never a harmful pro-oxidant. But it does have many transitional states that can be helpful in allowing the immune defense and repair system to recover, including from deep organisms, intracellular deep organisms, like the Ehrlichia, Babesia, um, and, and, and others that have been associated with uh, Lyme uh, syndrome. And there is some misunderstanding out there about glutathione is, is, uh, is poisoned, is depleted, is absent in many people. No, there are many things today in the toxins that we get exposed to that reduce glutathione or damage and oxidize glutathione uh, or impair its synthesis. But in people who use ascorbate based on their C-clans, they are able to synthesize, to recycle, uh, to preserve and protect their glutathione just fine. And that's the bottom line. 